All right, I'm still in LA. It is the Wednesday before uh, my ultra marathon. It's about 7.15. Bit of a late one this morning. Slept very, very bad last night. And uh, I haven't really got a schedule as much for today. So I decided I want to get outside, get away from the air conditioning. Whew. So I looked on the map and I found some hills. Here's one right now. I figured I need to get on a little bit of an incline knowing that in this ultra marathon I believe there's about 4,000 feet of climbing in the first eight miles. Oh man, which is a worry because this is screwing me. So what I'm doing, knowing that I'm gonna come up against traffic lights everywhere here, I'm running beyond my pace, more than an interval pace, until I get to the traffic lights, use that as my rest, my break, my recovery, and hit it again, such as I am now. So uh, as opposed to thinking, okay, 400 meters fast, I'm just going fast, up to the traffic lights, recover, hit it again. Today's gonna to be a short run, again, about three miles, just to get the body moving. I'm gonna to have to put you down, I can't talk. Well, I found an awesome place, and it's called the Vista, Hermosa Natural Park and it's downtown LA apparently in a not so nice place a not so nice part of downtown LA because I asked the concierge at the bottom where's there a good park and they named a couple of small parks around here and I said what about this park I looked this up on the map and they said oh we don't send anybody over there sir it's a rough area and I said well can you just tell me which way it is and he said, yes, it's, uh, he looked it up, told me the directions, but he said, I do recommend, sir, that you don't go over there by yourself. I would not send my family. And I said, with all due respect, sir, I'm not your family. I'll see you later. So here I am, and uh, I'm really glad I made it. I'm able to, I have no idea how big this park is, but it's awesome not hitting any traffic lights I'm finding somewhere that feels like I'm out in the wilderness uh, but I can hear traffic all around I mean this is absolutely awesome so anyways sorry I better put you down and take this in Uh, back in the hotel so just wrapping this up now I'm gonna be packing this shit up now more cardio so um, there's gonna be times obviously that you can't stick to your program you can't stick to the app the, the intervals or the distance or the elevation or the terrain that you uh, that would put you in a perfect position for doing an ultra ultra marathon uh, but you just got to take take it you know take the punches like take what you can get Something's better than nothing. Of course, like I said, it's not a perfect environment, but it's not going to stop me from doing a fucking ultra marathon. And neither should anything like this stop you from your goals. There's going to be times that you go to the gym and someone's going to be on your bit of equipment. There's going to be times that you're going to train at a different time than you would like. There's going to be days that you'll have to swap. And uh, it, it just is what it is. You know, shit happens. That's life. Um, so you just got to navigate the terrain, the gym, your uh, schedule accordingly and just do what you can don't use any excuse of um, you know your environmental change as a justification for complacency just do what's uh, what you can so you know that's why I thought okay I'll start out running today not doing the 400 meter intervals uh, but I was gonna do five 400 meter intervals again today um, uh, but I thought I'll just do what I can I'll just run from one traffic light to the next and use that as my recovery and Thankfully found a little bit of a park. It was only a small one, but anyway, it was nice to have a destination to go to loop around and come back So I got four miles done in total. So I'm gonna pack up get some work done eat some food 
and uh, have a workout at Gold's Gym, doing a collaboration with uh, Olympia, Mr. Olympia, Danny Hessler. And then tonight I land in Boise about 8.15, I think. Then at nine o'clock, 45 minutes later, I'm gonna be training with IFBB Pro, another IFBB Pro, Branch Warren. Yeah, two workouts in day in a day. Like sometimes I ask myself, what the fuck are you doing? You know, what's wrong with you? And I've had like, people even including my father say, what is wrong with you? And uh, it's funny when someone else asks that, you don't think anything of it because how many times have you said to someone, God, what's wrong with you, man? But when you actually say that and ask yourself that question more than once, quite frequently, yeah, you often beg the question, what the fuck is wrong with me? But sometimes I like to put myself into uh, positions like this because I always say to myself, do what others aren't to get the results that others can't. So, yeah, who else is going to go and have a workout at one o'clock this afternoon in Gold's Gym and then have another workout at nine o'clock this evening with Branch Warren after going for a run and then train with Branch again tomorrow, uh, <laughs> the, the day before the ultramarathon. I don't know, me, I guess. So, uh, yeah, time to eat and recover. Uh, not until I've had my recaged, though. Recaged first, then I will eat in about 45 minutes once I've showered up.